Hi guys, welcome back to Wrong Way. Ladies and gentlemen, this... Greetings ladies and gentlemen, this is Wrong Way and this... Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Wrong Way. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Wrong Way. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Wrong Way. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Wrong Way and this... Hello ladies and gentlemen and this is Wrong Way. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Wrong Way and... Wrong Way. Hey guys, now I'm just finishing editing the video that you have just seen. I just want to say thank you to all of you that watch my videos and comment and I'll do the video about the Hearst. I remember, I also have it in my mind. And now I'm doing more of the electric stuff, which also like inspires me and it's uh, interesting. But still there'll be a lot of stupid car things come coming along. And yeah, we just hit 100 subscribers, which means a lot to me. There's a hundred of you don't want to watch my videos. And I'm really happy about that. And it um, helps me to keep going. So thanks again. And uh, see you in the next video. Now, if you compare with the Fiat 500 to one of the more modern city rivals, you just can't get over the fact how small this car is. Everything in this car is just small. The wheels are small. Everything is really, really minuscule. A door handle for your pinky. This is the tank for the brake fluid. Oh, and let's not forget about the wipers the size of a hand. A cargo area that holds 4x8 plywood panels flat. Which is actually really practical if you just want to take a nap. Or go to sleep. Or just live there. And we went on search to find a parking space. Which actually went easier than expected and without any trouble whatsoever to other users of this parking lot. So maybe the limo isn't such a bad choice after all for daily driving. You can also control the rear seats with a push of a button. Back. Oh. Oh. Oh, I know, I know. In fact, this car was the longest you can get from a Cadillac factory in 1966. This immense size is probably the reason why you can find most of these Cadillacs on Airbnb instead of Auto Trader, for example. The one thing we did not expect was a waiting line. What are these people doing anyway here? So we waited, and waited, and naturally, we started to get bored. Now I shall demonstrate how easy it is to transport stuff with a limousine. And additionally, you can carry a lot of passengers as well. We could have bought a bigger one. And the first drive is for economical cruising in your 7 liter V8. I can control the AC on the driver's side, so no AC controls for the passenger. You have to oblige. My god, this is a house. My god, how could they drive such a thing? Oh my god. Now, getting inside of a car is pretty easy, you just have to use the F key or any other key you have assigned to enter the car. And obviously one of us had a bad internet connection. Guys? Oh, no, alright. 
I decided to greet her with a limo instead of a regular sedan. With my mom on board, we could not make a U-turn, so we had to just go backwards. Oh, I love these sounds. Oh, yeah. The door closing. The opening mechanism. It feels so mechanical. The blinkers. Sir, please turn left. But on the other hand, you close the door and here you get these four transit controls for all your, all your windows. I'm sorry. Still sorry. Okay. Sorry. It's fuel economy, let's not talk about it. And the first question is, will it Britishize me? Quite so, indeed! Let's Just listen to the sound of the beeper for the fastened seatbelts warning. Excuse me, sir, can you please fasten your seatbelt? I would be really happy for you to fasten them. First row. Oh, and look at here. You have nice branded Infinity headphones, and it's pretty nice. But there's only one pair. So when you're riding along and looking at your TV, your friend cannot. Very interesting because it is. Nie mogę mało się nagrywam Cadillaca. George, take me to my mom's house. The rear leg space is colossal. You could actually stretch your legs and not touch the front seats. Of course, I had to get different food than George. After George took his order, it was my turn. But interestingly, there are 113 Warszawas rolling around in North Korea. In fact, the engine chassis combination was so weak, they had to put in information about how steep of a hill this car can handle on first gear. In this occasion, it is 27%. 0 to 100 is about 30 seconds, still 15 seconds faster than the first Warszawa, so we started taking shots. I'm wounded! I can't heal inside while driving! Dude. So, you are greeted by Grey. One, two, three, four, five, it's a small one, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten! No, no, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I don't. So, in case you just want to sell something out of the parking lot, you can! Pizza, pizza, would you like to order some pizza? Uh, no, actually it's a uh, UK car, so it would be like... Hello everybody, would you like some terrible food from England? We have a compartment on the passenger side, but not on the driver's side. On the passenger side, we have this. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty weird to have such a big piece of plastic or whatever it is. 